Welcome back guys and here we go with the show on the road and if you guys saw the previous video you guys know we were just hanging out at Elliot Key and to our disappointment I guess the regatta a lot of people didn't show up like it's normally is. I mean there was photos there but not the craziness and the fun times like it used to be I guess 2020 has really changed everything around but not for us we decided to go ahead and head north to Hallover Sandbar but we're gonna cruise by first downtown Miami and you guys are gonna see all the beautiful buildings and all the boat activities here in Miami so full throttle Captain Fraquito because we have to travel 30 miles north and we have reached Rickenbacker Causeway that's the bridge right in front of you and right behind the bridge you're gonna see the beautiful buildings of downtown Miami Here we have the huge cranes that load and unload the freighters at the Port of Miami. And yes, the Port of Miami is right next to downtown. And also the Port of Miami is a very busy port because we have the cruise ships and the container boats that come and go every day. And I'm glad I could bring videos like this because there's a lot of people around the world that watch my channel and they love to know more about Miami but don't have a chance to come visit. Well, like you notice, you guys are taking it, a private tour of downtown Miami and Bayside area. And I just noticed they have this new Ferris wheel here that I've never seen before. And it looks beautiful to me. And also you notice there's a lot of boats heading out and they're all pretty full. I guess they're gonna have some fun in the Miami sun. If you had a choice to pick out of all these beauties, including a boat or a condominium here overlooking the bay. I mean, it must be beautiful getting up in the morning and living on the very top and just overlook everything of all this beautiful water and all the boats going by I mean I guess that's why they cost millions of dollars but I'm happy enough that I could drive by and see them myself and the ride is about an hour to 45 minutes because the problem is there's a lot of idle zones especially in front of downtown Miami but after that beautiful ride we have reached our destination and also you notice things have changed here too because supposedly Dade County opened up the sandbars so I don't know what happened I guess for the long weekend they might have closed them but as long as we're in the water it's all okay well mats in the water girls on the water and they're trying to make the best fit just like everyone here and earlier they were allowed in the sandbar but I guess uh, there was too many people accumulating so the patrols came and told everybody to get off now we've been sightseeing a lot like you guys noticed have you guys seen something uh, at least I'm not because I'm missing it and I'm getting hungry so it's time to dig around and find something to eat and thanks to chef Dewey we have something very special be prepared all right check it out check this out guys look 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 this is seaweed tuna salmon 
That's crazy, right? And what is that? What is that white thing? Ginger. Oh and ginger. But look at that. Seaweed. And actually tastes pretty good. We got Chef Doobie and like us. He did it. Right there. So look at that. That's pretty good. Look at this. Look at this. Check it out. Check this out. I'm going to test out this tuna. It's a little frozen. Frozen tuna. Okay. Okay. Seaweed. Pretty good. Yeah. Wow, it tastes good. Look at this guy. You ready to eat his? Tastes really good. Yeah. Even Okita is eating salmon. No, but Okita eats it like this. Look. How do you eat it? This is how you eat this. How do you eat it? Taste it good. With the fingers, it takes better with the fingers. All right. Like you guys already know, I love being in the water, but I also love eating on the water. But now, while we enjoy here this quick snack made by Doobie and also my friend brought some ceviche and it tasted pretty good too. So while we enjoy that too, we're gonna go ahead and check out what everybody's up to here at Hallover Sidebar. See, everybody's just like us, trying to make the best of it. Yep, all the boaters here are hanging out next to Hallover Sandbar because it's uh, very disappointing because for us boaters here locally, when you say we got a weekend, everybody gets pretty excited and expects to have a lot of fun. But I guess 2020 changed even that. But it's okay, you just have to go ahead and adjust and keep going forward because there's always next year. But it's okay, at least we made it out here to the water and spent a great day out in the sun having some fun but even like Yuli and Big Mama that actually she laid out and fell asleep it's getting late and everybody's really tired so we started head out because we got a long ride back and also guys if you like this type of activity boating having fun with friends and family make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications like that you're never gonna miss another upcoming video and also if you want to go back and check out more boating videos I have plenty of those I have over 600 videos on the channel so check them out and if you want search up regatta videos and you're gonna see what it is really supposed to be but right now I'm feeling very lucky because we're gonna witness a beautiful sunset over the city of Miami
what do you guys think about that beautiful or what well at least to us that we're sea lovers to us it's real beautiful and we also got to ride really close next to the big container ships that that's a unique sight to see and this is what i call miami style living and see you guys next time out in the water